here we are at the lower Monument Canyon Trailhead and we have got a special adventure today. We are gonna go straight to Independence Monument here and we're here right now. So that's my story. Got my daughter with me today. So really happy to have her for spring break and away we go. We kind of have a little bone to pick with this adventure. Long ago, I think it's been four years now, I think it was the, the beginning of the COVID outbreak. We came out here for spring break and we tried to climb the Independence Monument, that giant tower out there. And it was freezing cold and wet and we got a couple pitches up. I'll show you a couple little clips of that. So here we are on this second pitch of Odo's route on National Monument. We have been thoroughly frozen in short, we got beat down and scurried away. So we are coming back and hopefully redeeming ourselves on one of the more picturesque desert climbs that Colorado, well, probably the most picturesque climb that Colorado has to offer. The Utah desert probably has a few more, but for Colorado, this is, this is premier. So uh, we are gonna be getting up there and showing you the way. This will be kind of difficult to shoot being that it's a rock climb. We'll do our best and hopefully you'll enjoy the ride. See you out there. What a beauty. Well, what do you know? Wow. About two and a half miles later, we are basically at the foot of the adventure zone. And that's gonna be that right there. So here we go. And it's time to get right up in there. We'll see you in the business. Final approach to the tower. And it does look like we have a special native spectator. There he is. He's up on the right. This is the base right here. See you, buddy. Mm -hmm. That looks good. So there she is topping out the first quote unquote 5-5 five, five section. It felt kind of hard, slippery, and sandy. Nice job, honey. So clipping stuff like this is a little nerve wracking. There's the scene. And away we go. Up Otto's holes where there used to be ladder rungs. All right, this is the line right through this overhanging off width. But luckily there are some drilled holes from Otto. So most people say this is the crooks of the route right here. And then the anchors are up where the rope is. You can see that a little better there. And then Samantha should be coming here very shortly. And there she is, getting what most people call the crooks pitch done, although some people say it is the cap that is the most difficult. And then a really high step into that slopey pocket. Yep, there you go. going through the time tunnel and it's a tight fit if you got a backpack on but we're doing it oh yeah power it oh wow oh whoa we are to lunch ledge hallelujah 
Yeah, let's get over there. Whoa. Nice work. Whoa. Oh. That's what we got coming. Okay, so Samantha and I have gotten to the launch ledge, and it's pretty epic. Maybe we'll creep out there. I don't know. We've already been traumatized somewhat. Here is the next pitch going up here. And if you look really close, there are a couple of bolts. Kind of tough to see, not great light, but Odo has put some holes in and there's bolts. So we're gonna jam off this next. Okay, so we are on the, what pitch are we on, honey? Third pitch? We're on the third, fourth pitch. Going up this thing now, maybe the third really, depending on if you link the first two. But uh, I'm not gonna do too many shots, but I did want to show you. These are the little holes that Odo put in the wall. And I guess he had like sticks sticking out of them. And, uh, and that's that's the way up. And you can see way out there is the overhanging cap. So exciting there for sure. Really exciting. And, uh, and then this is the way down. And the only reason I'm even doing this shot is because I have a stainless steel glue and bolt right here. So I feel comfortable screwing around with the selfie stick on the way. Um, everything's good. But I thought I'd give you a quick look of what it really is like. And this is what it's like. Pretty exciting. Here she comes. All right, she's kicking ass. I got you. Nice. Good work, honey. You gonna grab it on that flea? Yeah, not me. There you go. Good job. Very nice. And a little disappointing. The slopey hold. Nice job, honey. Ooh, you just slinky on that. <laughs> right, right here is a killer pocket. My little toe is pointing. Kabam! Nice. Kaka! Good work, honey. It was a very eerie feeling to be climbing the first 40 feet, not really knowing how hard it's gonna be with the fact that there's zero places to hook in, no protection. So that was exciting. But you could see the, I think it's three bolts way up high, just beckoning their security. Ooh, nice. Yeah, a little slopier than you'd like, huh? Got it. Yep, just keep thinking and you'll have it. Wow. There's a big one way upright. See it? It's a little scary to commit to it. Oh, wow. I got you, sweetheart. I got you tight. That's it. Oh yeah, that's a girl. Triumph. Good work, sweetheart. The eagle has landed once again. And the eagle came from there. And it was sure exciting. And now we are on the summit cap of the monument. So wow, wow, wow. Give you a little look around, kind of tough light. Let's take a little stroll. We've got Samantha in the register, so that's always cool. And we met some really cool guys while we were up here. I would say historical guys. There we are, Deckers. Good job, sweetheart. So really being on this giant like cap slash overhang, you can't look down too well, although we're gonna try. It's 
surrounded by towers. And I did hear other climbers. So if you look really close, right on the summit is a little fixture, little climber. Wow, wow, wow. Very cool. So we, I did hear them doing their belay calls. And this is the trail we came in on down here. So, and sometime I'll do a little short video of my adventure up to the island, which is this big outcropping straight across. That was a great hike, really chill. You could do a little scrambling out on the, the pillars if you wanted. So we're gonna have a little snack of salami and crackers, and it is a miracle that any of the crackers survived intact. I thought they would be powdered after my little struggle. Beautiful towers all around. And then tough light this way. But there are some crows in this where the tourists can look right out. Just left of that predominant tower right there is a cool crow's nest that you can hike out to. I believe that's Odo's trail. And then behind that, you can't really make out, but it is the ranger station. And then out here is Fruta at my house. Way out there, somewhere around there. All right, first repel's ready. Rope! So that's the deal, and here we go. Kaka! So yeah, we climbed that. It was pretty epic. Heading down here. Right, so there's the cat. There's my daughter. We are heading on down now. These are the crazy stairs. Repel number two. You are locked and everything is, oh yeah, that's an auto locker. Drop it, yo. If anything matters, it's that brake hand. You go ahead and hit your head with the helmet before you let go of that brake hand. And there she goes. She's good to go. All right, we are now getting to the lower two repels. And I'm not gonna film much because you can see that is like steep funnel of loose rock that goes right down. And just pulling this rope is gonna be dangerous because we'll probably be pulling rocks onto ourselves. Ooh, a little like overhang section. All right, I am super stoked. This is the last anchor and Samantha's already safely on the ground. So that makes me happy. And this is it. A full 115 plus feet, or 35 meters, half of a 70 meter rope. So probably this is a good one to tie knots in your rope and be absolutely sure that if you're using a 70, the very center of the rope is in the anchor. And there it was. Jumping around. And again, you can see Odo's holes. An incredible pioneer who got up here around 1907, I think is what the really cool guys that we met told us. So, wow. Fantastic. Thank you, Otto. Appreciate that. We'll see you on the ground. Pulling the rope for the final rappel is done. And here it comes. Wow. Just wanted to wrap this up with you guys. Had a real inspiration during this climb. We met two older gentlemen, Kent and Ken, who were 59 and 67. And they were unbelievable climbers. Uh, one of them was a crack climbing author of a book and really great guys, gave me a little bit of confidence because I was kind of nervous on the crooks and it was a big overhanging, pretty gnarly. Um, not sure I would call it 5'8", but uh, you know, it happened, it got done, it got done safely. But I appreciate that they were there and hopefully I'll get to cross paths with them again. We did make pretty good friends, great guys. So pioneers like that we have to thank as well as Otto himself 
for the incredible route that he put up on the monument. So a great day and a huge redemption day for my daughter and I as well. Again, one of my very earliest videos was us coming up here over spring break from the front range and getting denied the summit of this climb. So really psyched about that, proud of my daughter. We definitely had no problems, besides for the normal climbing power struggle up the faces, um, but really went fantastic. I'm sorry I couldn't get even better footage of it, but this rock is pretty dangerous. Lots of loose, breaky desert, lots of ways to knock rocks off. I'm not gonna push my luck, especially not with my daughter. So that's my story on that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the trip and get a little taste of what Grand Junction has to offer here in National Monument Park. We'll see you on the next one.